Good morning, folks. Helio Viewer is still down, but we've made good use of our other tools. If you missed last night's update, we took one M-class solar flare yesterday afternoon from the incoming southern active region that had some magnetic mixing. There was a small CME, but it is not Earth-directed. Then behind that at the limb, a beautiful filament destabilization sent plasma and other materials swirling into the corona. This is the prime focal area on the sun, especially because if you look past what we just saw, you'll see the dark southern negative coronal hole coming in down there as well. With Soho Lasco updated, we can see a monstrous CME. Luckily, this took place on the other side of the sun. Although Stereo A is a bit choppy right now, we are able to see the eruption from those sunspots that just left the Earth-facing side of the sun a few days ago. How nice of him to wait. Quick gamma ray burst update. After none in the first 11 days of December, Ares popped and then two back to back from Hercules. The neutron monitor shows a rise in cosmic rays, but without any raw telemetry. Muon count on the right also approaching very high levels there, almost up at 102. Never seen it higher than that. Solar wind, above average intensity, but our shield is handling it just fine. No magnetic instability. Looking at the major rise in sunspot number, first let's note a strange feature near the baby spots up north. Tough to tell what this is, but the magnetogram reads it as negatively polarized. Then, down south, the M-flare maker has a bit of magnetic mixing, especially near the southern portion of the group. Trailing spots are not as complex as they were last night. I'll also note a potential problem with the 131 angstrom camera, as we are seeing evidence of possible filter trouble or sensor malfunction. Just another quick look at the end of December's planetary geometry. This and the start of 2015 deserve their own video, which I'll make in the next couple of days. But for now, just look at what's happening. Zoomed in and set in motion, there's Venus, Mercury, Sun, and Jupiter pretty much in a line. When I pulled up Stellarium, you are used to seeing it look like this. But what if I put us on Venus? Scroll up to the Sun and turn off the atmosphere. You can see that the four spheres coming together do so over about a 48 hour period and it's just the start of the fun heading into the new year. We're now looking at weather where the west coast is taking a pounding once more while the previous storm settles into the central US. Brief warm up on the leading edge followed by a winter storm that lit up Oklahoma and Texas with major hailstones. That's fun for December. What do you even do with this? We're all over the place. Just check your local forecasts. Still got that low near Spain and a line to the northeast, but the primary watch has become the cresting convergence off the North Atlantic low. Everyone except the far southeast has an alert tonight. Down under, you can see the converging air masses in the central and northern parts of Australia leading to a low in the southeast. We've also got a convergence cresting northern New Zealand now. Those are the watch areas for the moment, but they may shift overnight. Remember folks, major site upgrades at suspiciousobservers.org begin tomorrow. We're very excited about the changes and improvements. Also, if you didn't catch last night's update, you missed that we added a public stop for Jackson, Mississippi on the 17th. All details about our live events all across the country can be found at observatoryproject.com. Got a bonus link in today's lists and some shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.15 a.m. here in Mississippi. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.